Right, welcome once again. I'm Steel Walrus. You are awesome, and chicanery is afoot. When last we spoke, the uh, ship was under attack by Klingons under the command of Captain Kor. I'm Kor, remembering an old Earth adage about leaping from frying pans into fires. Your orders, Lieutenant. Now we have to uh, help defend the ship. Well, I'm already shooting. All right, we gotta go to engineering though. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll cover you while you clear out the lab, Lieutenant. Ah. There we go. Primary plasma conduits. Get them running fast. Yeah, better get those conduits back up. Plasma conduits reinitialized. Auxiliary power restored. Now clear out that armory. Watch out! More Klingons! Oh no, more Klingons. Enemy targets on sensors. Ah! This is not going well. Alrighty. Well, I don't see anything else in the armory. Are we bugged out? I'm a little concerned that we may have. Great work. There we go. Secure okay. Engineering next, cool. if you can. That was heroin. We cleared the rest of the deck, Lieutenant. Well done. Let's clear out main engineering now. Oh, well, this guy isn't gonna just step back. Okay. Well. Oh, and now he's got a weird visor thing. Back. Yeah. I have caused problems for myself here. Now, this is what I was talking about the last episode. Or and I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so we gotta restore the weapon power relays. Weapon power relays are up and running. Charge all phaser banks. I need you on the bridge, Lieutenant. Alright, back to the bridge. Sir, incoming transmission. Federation Starship, this is Captain Kor. Surrender if you must, but I'd rather you fight with honor. Okay, that's an interesting bug. Good work, Lieutenant. The Klingons will think twice before they try to board this ship again. <laughs> now take the helm. We need to get to a friendly sector. All right. Congratulations. More XP. Hey, and we got our uh, new person. That's cool. Sensors are picking up Klingon power signatures in two nearby satellites. 
I'm thinking they're broadcasting the distress signals that lured in our ships. Bring us in close so we can scan them and find out. Here we Increase go. Increase your speed using E. Decrease your e. ship speed by using Q. All right. This is where the game actually starts to to shine a little bit. I think they do a, a good job with space Science movement and combat. Coming in now. Satellites are using a triaxial like, Is it perfect? Signal. No. But it's strong enough to cut through the good. interference. Especially for the, the time it the came nebula. out. Use your torpedo to attack enemies who are not shielded. Ship is under attack. Nice work. One down, one to go. Looks like this one is shielded. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. And that's pretty much a hard and fast rule. Like, there aren't really ranges in the game, it's just 10 kilometers. Plus, well, evasive maneuvers actually gives me better speed, but I'm not going to use it until I need it. You'll notice up here, the shield starts to go down. I really love shield phasing as a concept. I think it's really cool. So it'll show you up here if you're on that so it's getting out. Okay. Can, can you hear us? We're under attack by Klingon raiders. Our shields are buckling. Won't last long. Activate full impulse by clicking on the arrow. Deactivate full impulse by clicking on it. Yep, so you get basically your sprint speed in space. Click on a shield that is low on power. <laughs> this will divert power from your other shields. You also have weapons like so right now that I'm on broadside, I can fire both my aft and forward laser phaser. Thanks. Now I can turn in. And I can even pull my nose up to get a little bit better range, or a little bit better angle. On that deep down. And uh, there you go. That wasn't my best flying ever, but I think, uh, I think you get the point. Again, the space combat in this Thanks game is help. good. I really like it. Um... Even though I do feel like uh, some of the mechanics Thanks in the game everything. are kind of weak, Good like uh, yeah, especially on ground. Lieutenant, I've made some modifications to our torpedo launcher. It definitely, like again, it. really, really nails space combat. But I feel like that's Remember that you can that's always been impulse. Star Trek in general. Like Star Trek is more about um, activate well, high yield torpedo. Not really about any any combat stuff, but definitely. <laughs> Definitely been mostly about. Uh, okay, we can set these on it. By the way, decorate my bridge. You'll notice, and the tutorial kind of said this, like, you're mostly going to want to engage shields with your favor. You don't want to engage with your torpedoes that kind of waste them. But there is bleed. But when they get to really low shields, kind of like the you'll notice that the uh, weapons begin to kind of bleed through, especially explosive weapons.
kind of like an Eve, you're doing a lot of, uh, doing a lot of orbiting, but you're also managing your, uh, your facing. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And you'll notice too that really big explosions, if you're too close, will actually damage your ship. So you have to, this you don't want to get right up in somebody and fire. Please. You want to kind of keep your distance. Oh, Enterprise is uh, so, engaged the over Cub there. comes to fight beside the Wolfie. And now you will die with him as well. Get on in there. A uh, shift also fires any weapons that are in arc. See, that's a good hit. This isn't over, Kirk. I will avenge myself upon you and your lackey. Huzzah. All right. There we go. Thank you for your assistance. And yes, they actually got... Uh... Oh, well. They actually got SWAT to do the voice acting. Um... I don't know why my brain is fogging on his name. Looks uh, like really you, Lieutenant. Starfleet Command wants us and Enterprise back for a debriefing on this mess. Helm, set a course for Earth Space Dock, Warp Factor. All right, back to Earth Space Dock. Leonard Nimoy, that's his name. Nimoy, Nimoy, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I've I've heard it both ways. Now, one thing uh, about Star Trek Online is that it's it does respect the canon, and I've seen them go and change things as the show, like the current shows, have evolved. Uh, however, it does kind of exist in its own instance of time. We'll do the Picard maneuver there. Captain Garrett wants to see you in his office, Lieutenant. But he says to feel free to mingle with the other officers first. I'd take him up on that if I were you. I mean, how often do you get the chance to meet the crew of the Enterprise? The best of the best. That they are, Tarzi. That they are. Also gonna switch over to my sidearm so I'm not running around with a big old pistol on the back. Oh wow, got all kinds of people. You got Ensign Mears here we just talked to a minute ago. It's been a pleasure working with you. I didn't enjoy going back to Taurus too, but we got the job done thanks to you. Starfleet First Officers must be my good luck charm. Captain Garrett has requested me for a new logistics position here at ESD. Might not be as glamorous as the Final Frontier, but I've accepted. Until next time, good luck out there. Now, 
Another thing I think is important to point out is that the people that made this game love Star Trek. Like, genuinely love Star Trek. So, I, you know, kind of respect the uh, the passion. You'll notice a lot of stuff. Oh, I'm not talking to you. Alright. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, well, uh, Koenig. Name. Something Koenig. Walter. Walter Koenig. Talk to McCoy here. If you're going into the lion's den, you'll need a medical officer. But I think they're using the sound bites from the uh, the series. That was some fine work back there, friend. It's not every day one walks away from a brawl with the Klingons. You look familiar. If you don't mind me saying so, have we met before? Of course, DeForest Kelly was like 94 when he showed up in uh, the uh, Next Generation at one time. So it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't surprise me if they needed to, obviously would need to, because I don't think he's, he was still alive by the time the game came out. Let alone by the time this particular iteration of it did. Ah, must be my imagination then. You meet a lot of folks serving in Starfleet, to be sure. By the way, I heard you ran into the local wildlife on Taurus too. Right on friendly devils, aren't they? I won't be forgetting those gigantic spears any time soon. Look me up sometime. We'll have a drink and share some caveman tales. Alrighty. Always like Scotty. The guy that played him, a genuine war hero. Which is pretty cool, because he's a Canadian... Uh, he's a Canadian infantryman in D-Day, I think. Hey, the great bird of the galaxy, that's your plan. And, uh, George Decay is still up and around. And Lieutenant I think Aurora Michelle the Nichols Enterprise. is still alive, but I'm pretty sure she's fairly ill. And there's our captain, Captain Garrett. Thanks for coming. I have some good news to share. First off, Fleet promoted me to Admiral. I'll be working with Deep Space Command on several exploration initiatives there. Our ship's going to need a new captain. I've talked it over with Command. Do they agree with my recommendation? You. Congratulations, awesome. my friend. I know the ship will be in good hands once I'm away. Don't think you've gotten rid of me, though. I plan on keeping you plenty busy out there. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Every generation, Starfleet officers hear the call of duty. Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict, but there are many who oppose peace. If the Federation is to be saved from chaos, new officers will need to take up the task of restoring peace. Live long and prosper, Lieutenant. Cool. And yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure they got Leonard Nimoy uh, to do that. Oh, so I know he is the one who does a lot of the, the like wiki uh, narration and stuff. Like this, definitely him. But I'm not sure if he was still alive and working when they came up with the uh, TOS faction, like uh, Origin. Now let's, uh, let's go ahead and set this up. We've got skills we can spend. So you get ground skills and space skills. Uh, we're going to be working on getting our energy weapons trained up. We're going to purchase that. And then we're going to go over to ground real quick and we're going to grab uh, I actually think I want to go with uh, personal sh personal shields for right now. Um, now you can tell, like you can you can look at this and tell that they put a whole lot more thought into space than they did to ground, because ground is it, that's it. <laughs> um, but I I really do enjoy 
Again, I love the space stuff. I kind of avoid ground stuff when I can. Uh, let's talk to Admiral Garrett then. I have some new orders for you. I've outlined Earth important space dock. people you should talk to while visiting Earth's space dock. Speak with the tailor to customize your appearance. After that, speak with the ship vendor to claim a shuttlecraft. Okay. Well, I think this Stay is probably a good place to uh, set this episode down. Because I like to keep my episodes in the like 15 to 20 minute range, and we're at 23 now. So I'll catch you guys on the next episode where we go out and look at some of the space talk stuff. And uh, we'll take a good in depth sort of tour of the station. Appreciate you all watching. I've been Steel Walrus. You have been awesome. And I hope you'll uh, like and comment with your favorite moment or whatever and subscribe and uh hopefully i'll see you on the next episode all right peace out